what's going on y'all so i'm gonna do something that i haven't done before but uh pretty much i'm gonna go over how you unlock what's the fastest way to get characters in bleach um so when i first started playing this game i started playing it uh, a few years ago on the mobile but i haven't put too much time into it until the game actually came out on playstation i've been pretty much This is what I found to be the fastest way to get characters. Uh, you get characters by getting summon tickets, or you come over here to the summons and you use spirit orbs to go through the steps and unlock certain characters. When you you get some uh, summon tickets by completing like certain tasks, um, you know. You got special orders and everything as you know you do the orders or you play through story mode soul stories etc etc you eventually start on like a summon tickets and then you can use those tickets to attain characters and i've used all of mine already but i spent like 10 minutes going through my summon tickets using those and tonight i got maybe 12 to 15 different characters just using the summon tickets and you get spirit orbs by you know leveling up certain characters so here for instance these characters I have them fully augmented soul tree is maxed out and if I come here to the soul tree I can use these crystals level them up and I'm gonna get 50 spirit orbs so each level each five star character that you level up you get 50 spirit orbs and then once you have a character fully level up a five star a gold five star you can awaken them and then once you get them to level 150 you get 75 spirit orbs I'm gonna do the same thing for this version of Aizen. Oh snap, I didn't augment him. Whoop to do. But yeah, as you can see these ribbons, those ribbons mean that I've fully leveled up these characters before. So I can't get spirit orbs for them again. And I want to say three star characters you get 35 spirit orbs for fully leveling them up you don't have to go through the soul tree and fully max out the soul tree for three star characters all you have to do is augment them and you get that level maxed out and you get the spirit orbs and you can sell the characters you can, you can fuse them with other characters but I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these I've gotten most of these from using those summon tickets and going through the summon tickets one by one like once you have over 10 it can be kind of time consuming because I had like 200 summon tickets and it can be time consuming but like one out of every ticket you may get a gold five star character but I have him it's fully augmented go back to the soul tree go ahead and finish with this boom spear orbs and I'm gonna go ahead and evolve him so I can continue on with him later on like I'm gonna do the issue then I go to my gift box then I can accept claim these so I'm gonna do another character and I'm gonna get 250 spirit orbs um, let's see she's at 100 already I guess I'll go back to eyes and no oh I'll do him since I have a lot of or oh, see I did have a lot of different versions of him
I just jumped down and used these. I got a lot of these from doing the experience quest. Go through the soul tree, max out the soul tree. Get him to level 100. Get my spirit oil. So I'm actually gonna be short one spirit oil. But if you come over to the shop, well, exchange is. You can go to the coin exchange. Go to materials. And you can purchase, you know, your upgrades. So the jewels are gonna be what you will use to max out the soul tree. Jewels and crystals. But I think it's mostly the jewels. I'm honestly not 100% sure what's the difference between the two. But the fastest way to get coins is to get characters that have increased coin drops and accessories that have increased coin drops. So with this version of Calibell, he has 70% coin drop. But with the accessories and characters that have soul traits, I have 123 increase. So, I don't want to remove that. I have the Kotakuterizer watch. And if you match, if you fully max out this accessory and you match it with whatever uh, attribute, you know, you get a double bonus. So I have plus 20% character length. You just grab characters that had the soul trait for increased soul drop. You know, as you can see with Ishin, I believe I have some characters over there with him. Yep. Coin drop. Coin drop. So you get whatever bonuses you can, and then you come over to the quest. And with the plus 123% coin drop, whenever I come over to the very hard, mission and I use 10 tickets I get 10 million and 200 something thousand if not more coins so I get almost 11 million coins then I can come back over to the exchanges I go through the crystals and jewels I buy those in bulk then I come back over and I max out characters and boom I get the spirit orbs. So I'll go ahead and see if I have enough to fully augment her. See if I still have enough jewels to do, 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 yeah. Max her out. Not gonna use all of those. Make sure I claim that. And I think I pretty much cover mostly everything that I try to cover. And then gonna uh, complete this stuff here. And I should get at least one five star character, hopefully. And I didn't. But as you can see, for the most part, I already had these characters maxed out already. But if I go max him out, I should get 35 Spirit Orbs, I believe. And don't forget to go back to the gearbox and you claim these crystals. 
because you can skip playing through the mission saying leveling up you know your character and um i can go through with level these two up again or level these two up i'll get 100 spirit orbs then if i go through and level these characters out to 150 i get 75 and then i can go back to these summons again and then you know hopefully i can get anywhere between one to three characters five star characters and i go through and max them out again and just a repeating process so you get characters you max them out you get the spirit orbs and you come back you purchase new characters and then you, you know you go through that and as you play through the game as you actually learn the systems um i guess i can kind of go over that a little bit um this is my strongest character so stamina is your health attack is you know your attack power defense self-explanatory focus is your um, critical chance and spiritual pressure is for your strong attacks uh strong attacks you know attack and spiritual pressure pays a part in your strong attacks and if you so i've gotten this version of ichigo twice and i augmented the um duplicate and i unlocked a transcendence lock so as you get duplicates or let's say you get a i forgot what it's called yeah a special movie source which i haven't seen since i started playing this game but as you get duplicates of characters and you augment them even if the character is already been fully augmented you can augment a duplicate and then the more duplicates you use you unlock transcendent slots there is one version of rescue that i have i have four transcendent slots unlocked and the summons actually ended as I was forming those spirit orbs and going through the summons. I, I, I got that version of uh, Retsu like maybe three times in one night. And right when I was getting close to getting the last one, the summons ended. Then I could have unlocked this one over here. But anyway, as you level up, you know, your characters and everything, you level up the transcendence to get bonuses to your stats but if you're going for pretty much like a high attack build you want to get spiritual pressure and attack and level that up as much as you can and I can pretty much show you let's see let's go to the list so there are different characters or different yeah different enemy types that have uh, sometimes like on the harder missions you have characters that can dodge attacks like you have characters that dodge melee attacks you have characters that dodge range attacks or there are characters that simply dodge at random this version of Ichigo he pretty much mitigates all of that like none of those dodges you know will work and bonus effect for having my not my transcendence but my character links for getting these to level 15 I got to get a bonus ability last year to survive and let's let me show you pretty much that's how OP this version of each of those is like I can go to a difficult quest go to nightmare and he's pretty much tearing it up let's see and i don't think he's a killer for a hollow i'm gonna turn these boosts off
Man, he pretty much says Rick Victor, man. Also, he's immune to freeze, confusion, poison, ice, all of that. And that pretty much spreads to everybody in your team. And he also has a healing ability. So each area you go to in a quest, he will heal you and everyone else on the team. Let's go ahead and take him out. Now for the most part, I can go to a co-op quest. And once I get more last ditch survival bonuses, I could probably run through those co-op quests by myself. To a NYM, so as you can see, the other uh, summons that had you were bought that's no longer in effect. This one was in now. And no new character. But whatever characters you get, you just level them up. You get your spirit or you come right back and you go through these steps. Now let's see. So this version of Uriu. He has increased super speed link potion and the regular speed link potion and increased speed drop it. Heart, 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 and drop it, potion. And I want to say all three of these characters have potion boots. Or, uh, yeah, or uh, drop it soon. So, I actually have a version of, um, can't even think of her name right now. Don't want to remove. Yodorichi, that's a version of her. She has a uh, droplet boost also linked to her. But if I take all three of these characters and I go to the droplets or I go to the potions, I get a bunch of bonuses. That's how you form, you know, the potions and everything. So you can come over to the character link and then, you know, you match these out but to get the potions and the drops you can either go to the difficult quest or the co-op quest and you can farm that or you go to epic raids and there are characters that have certain bonuses bonus damage and bonus medals for the most part you will have people yeah so some people they only let you get in if you have a character with bonus potions or bonus medals 
but as you go through and you get the medals you can come to the exchange and you can exchange for all of this stuff that you can use to level up the character so as you get characters that have bonuses you come through and you farm for medals and that's another way that you can get drops and everything to level up your characters but you pretty much have to go through everything so as you run low on those tickets go to the arena go to the first fighter go to the guild and use those tickets up and get what you can you can also use spirit ores to purchase new tickets once you run out you know if you don't want to come spend money on you know packs and all that other stuff you know as you run low on something nine times out of ten you can come over to the guild or versus battle and you can use those tickets I only have it's just me and one other person in this guild I haven't really oh well, never mind I have more people to join since then But as you go through everything, you keep awards and then you redeem those to get points and stuff. But hopefully I cover pretty much the main stuff in a nutshell. I try not to drag this video out too long to kind of go over like the basics but I wish I knew a lot of this stuff when I first started and I'm pretty sure there are plenty of other people on YouTube that'll go over like certain things you know they break it down more than what I did I pretty much just went in general on how to you know, get more characters and level them up fast. Now I'm gonna go over and get more crystals. But I hope I satisfied. Y'all didn't know.